Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Happy holidays to all of you. We are going to jump right into it. What advice do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Pisces Need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Pisces. If you don't mind hitting the like button, I sure do appreciate it. We are going to pull out a Moonology card here as well. I like this one. But you have here the Knight of Swords getting the job done with the Chariot getting it done efficiently, quickly, with the Three of Swords here, you've got the Knight of Wands, another knight they come out to bring in a quest. You have a, the Page of Cups, the Star, the Knight of Cups. Wow, three knights. Okay, so knights just love a quest and the Magician. I definitely feel like for somebody here, you are manifesting a love affair. You have here now this new moon in Scorpio, Go Deeper. Um, it, it, when we look at the tarot and we kind of use this as an underlying theme, I feel like as you get into the, your head, if you are single and you're trying to do some sort of like writing down positive aspects or you're writing down the qualities that you want in a mate, be deep about it. Go deeper, but get into your feelings. I know this is strange when we talk about don't be in your feelings. In this case, they'll really feel the feelings of what would that be like or if it's a house that you're desiring this year, or if it's a new job, or even you say, it's not a new job, but I want my, my workplace environment to be more positive. There's too many negative things. Again, go deeper, get really deep inside of you and what it is that you think would bring you the most joy. So we have such a great energy here. We have Aquarius, we have Cancer here. We've got quite a bit of water, air and fire too, but I like these guys together, okay? They kind of tell a story, to be honest with you. The major arcana, arcana comes from mysteries or secrets in Latin, the word arcanum. And, and major arcana are major life events. And so when your soul meets the magician, the energy of the fool meets the magician, this is where you learn that you can create things. You can create your own reality. And so your soul learns to use the mind. The mind is nothing more than a tool. That's all it is for us. And so mastering, that's why we, we there's so many teachings about mastering your mind. Because when you can do that, you're going to see your reality shape and shift in ways that are beautiful. And so when the, the soul meets the energy of the chariot, that's when the soul learns about victory and success and moving forward with strength and determination. And nothing will stop you. And by the time the soul meets the star, that's when the soul receives every wish, all the wishes fulfilled. So that's the trajectory you're on. If you are single, you're going to meet somebody who is very balanced, but my God, is it romantic, okay? If you don't like romantic relationships, well, poo-poo on you. You've got one here, all right? You have somebody that's going to be very much, they're going to be very forward about it. They are going to be smitten with you and wanting to have a love of a lifetime, really. I mean, there's there's something about these three nights that I keep looking at that their energy collectively is like that kind of energy where things would definitely move fast. Now, if it's something to do with a job, now I mentioned the, the relationship because that three of swords to me, it's somebody here who has had some heartache. That's what I get off of it. But if it's something with a job, if you got passed over for a promotion or you just feel like you're not valued, in a job, I feel like you have something new or even if you're going to take that leap of faith and work for yourself or start some kind of a side hustle, if somebody put you down in some way is what I'm getting. Like they put down your skills. They didn't affirm you. They just put you in a box. I feel like you're going to break out of that box this year. There's just nothing holding you back here. So with the um, energy of the Knight of Swords, this is like getting behind the wheel of a Maserati and driving it as fast as you can. It's exhilarating energy, but it does move along quickly. And so I do feel like with the three knights, they're all the three that are in motion, by the way. The only one that really looks like he stands still is the Knight of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like with these three, things are going to move and move well. But this Knight of Swords, 
is also too, if there's been anything that was done that was not done correctly, this is also about taking care of that and getting things. If it was a, you know, you need to follow up with an email or even if you got charged for something on a, you know, card or a bill, or maybe you rented a movie and the movie wouldn't work or something like that. This is where you get that shored up. So anything that needs to get taken care of, this is where it gets handled. And it gets handled in a way that's very quick. It's very swift moving. So you're gonna find that turnaround time is like seconds. I heard nanoseconds, whatever those are, must be really small seconds, where things just seem to almost be immediate results. So I do feel like if you even have like a reservation that got lost, you get somebody involved with the Knight of Swords energy, it's like they type two buttons on the computer and there's your reservation. It's like you snap your fingers and things get done. So the energy of the star here is the goddess of truth. It's Aquarius energy. And so with the star, it is an influence over other people. You might find that people are almost bending over backwards for you. And especially if you did have a little chink in the armor with the three of swords, like something kind of hit your ego a little bit. And even if we're the most ascended people ever, we still have feelings. It's not like we just become so unconditional that our feelings are unable to be hurt. And so it, it can be difficult if somebody doesn't fully see your value or they even like I said, I have you kind of boxed in in a way that's just not you. Um, I get that more professionally, by the way, or it could be in a love relationship too. But with this, this is where you're free. Okay, unclothed characters. Now, mine have these awesome bikinis, but the deck is supposed to be unclothed. We know the story of that, what, how that all took place. Um, but with this energy, you have freedom here. So in a job change, or even if it's an improvement in your workplace, it's where you can be yourself again. And new people that you meet will be drawn to your energy. Now, with a love relationship, I'm telling you what, this person would move heaven and earth to be with you. They see you as somebody that's a goal, goals and relationship where they say this is relationship goals. This is exactly the kind of communication. It's somebody who is nurturing, somebody who can take care of themselves. It's not need based. And so the next seven, eight weeks, if you're single, are going to be important. Or if you're in a relationship, I feel like you're going to have a lot of advancements in that relationship over this next quarter coming in here. So this three of swords, we've kind of dabbled with a bit. This can also be about resisting change. So if the writing was on the wall, either in a relationship or in a job where you knew it was coming, I feel like they're saying we got to trust your intuition. You know, the star is about have better times ahead. And this is an emotional energy, but it's also a, it's also an energy. And so it's being in that place where you're aligned with source energy. And so we can let go of things a little bit easier because when we are more unconditional, we don't see it as as much of a gut punch. We don't have that fear based of I need to have this or I can't be happy. So I definitely feel like you're making a shift, even if something caught you off guard, where you can get your bearings, you can get your feet steady again, get yourself back to center so that you can move forward. So with this Knight of Wands, this is that wonderful knight in shining armor. If you do need help, because I do get this, if you need help in some area of your life, you have a lot of helpful people showing up. And if you're quite busy, if you are in some kind of a management position or you want to be in one, you have people around you who support you. Um, so with this Knight of Wands, you'll find too, this is a time where life gets adventurous, it gets entertaining, it gets interesting. And in a relationship, I mentioned you got romance, but you got somebody too, where there's passion and it's fiery and it's exciting, it's interesting. And so never a dull moment with this Knight of Wands is around. The Knight of Wands too loves to go out and do things. So you may find too, if you're somewhat of a homebody or you've been more in, inclined to be at home, you're going to have a period where you're going to be out and about a lot more here. So this page of cups comes in and it's law of attraction energy. It can be the return of an ex, but I'll tell you what, if it is, it's somebody who returns that's very pure of heart. Their motives are good. Their intentions are positive. There's nothing to fear here. I mean, this is one of the most lovable cards in the deck. So it is a message. So get ready for that texting to start up. The heart emojis, the fun little cute emojis. This is where it's like somebody whispers into your ear. Okay, that whispering that I love you right into your ear. It's this this character, this 
this energy coming in. And so with this Page of Cups, you're going to find that you might be a little more emotional than usual, where maybe you even find yourself getting deep in thought and getting a little misty-eyed about how good your life is, where you go, I can't believe where my life has gone, where it's taken me, where it's carried me, and I can't wait to see where I go from here. So with the energy of the chariot, you control, you make, you create your own reality. Again, you have law of attraction all over this reading. And so with the chariot, this is where things move forward and they do so in a way that's powerful. It's also, like I said, an important meeting. And so for somebody here, it's time to take a leap of faith. If it's a relationship, it's time to get serious. It's time to be all into that relationship. If it is something with a job, though, I do feel like things are going to get straightened around. I get it even more so than you leaving, having your current position, your current workplace culture, get back into line. If there's been something nasty around you, I just don't see it staying. And so with the Knight of Cups here, this one comes in to bring your life back into balance, to bring in the beauty, the harmony, and like we said before, to bring in helpful people. And so this knight wants to, if you're going on a vacation, this is like your butler at your resort where you have your own personal attendant. Or maybe you go to a resort and there's a special waiter or waitress around the pool and it feels like your wish is their command, but they love to do it and you tip them well. And it's a cycle and it's wonderful and everybody's happy. That's what this is. So with the magician here, finally... You have new opportunities. You bring heaven to earth here. But you have a power within you that you it, you can feel it. It's palpable. So get ready for the synchronicities. Those are not coincidence. They're co-occurring incidents. You and this universe are creators together. So let's see what else you need to know, Pisces. Messages for Pisces, please. All right, what else? does Pisces need to know, please? Guidance, please, for Pisces. Ask your angels. Ask and they will show you. They want to show you. Look for a sign. Those signs and synchronicities are your guides. Peaceful resolution. So if there has been a little bit of a difficulty, I see you moving forward and not looking back. They tell you to take action, Pisces, and you've got don't stop because good things are on the way. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.